And go. Conspiracy theorists unite. Yep, this this entire game is one gigantic conspiracy theorist. Especially when they tell you to do equal cards. Alright. And you do not have said equal cards. But but since 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 I'm talking about how like these are final sexes, let me tell you how I set this up. This up. Because I don't think I said it in the last episode. No, I didn't. Didn't. I'm getting the signal saying I did not I did not bring it up at all. Oh. Okay, so the way I set it up was I made sure that only the story pieces got in. Uh, the last thing was the key to reward, which I set up that way. Wait, the hardest one to set up was for the last. Was basically for the last. Uh... Wait a minute, this is the last. Oh gosh, I'm thinking about. Last this episode is absolutely. This is episode 40. Wow! Wow, and I'm pretty sure someone's going to correct me in that previous episode, but it's going to be like a year later. Yeah, later, right. Later, because that's basically how I see all the comment sections. I'm not going to get a comment until like a year in the future. future. With the exception of one comment where, where it was like, it was the episode where you took, where you basically took on Hades, and you, and, and of course, oh, yeah, okay. and the comment was like, well. The comment just said, well, and, I, and then I replied with, well indeed. Yep, that's basically how <laughs> That's basically our, yeah. Yeah, the comment just said, well, and then, well indeed. Indeed. Well, I think the weirdest thing was, was, uh, remember I, remember I was telling you over Saturday I was going to do a mini update thing? Mini update video? About how, how, uh, I think I mentioned, yeah, I was mentioning about how I was going to do yeah. the update video. Video. Like, barely hours after it got uploaded, really, I got viewed once, and then it got liked. Oh, wow. Right. And it happened the same way when I uploaded, uploaded an, a full-fledged update video on, on April 4th, April Fool's Day. You know, it was an actual real update, and everything I said in there was true, but since we uploaded on April 1st, I'm pretty sure no one actually believed it. Still got, still got that thumbs up on that day. Then, I think the only one person's like, ooh, what is he gonna do next update? And I'm like, oh, let's go update, you know, like, this. I know. Yeah, uh, sweet, 50 dish came in. Man. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Um. You can't escape from me. Let's see. Uh. Well, wait, we'll try to get the pipe. I got water. You and your face of water. Frontier Psychiatrist! <laughs> Dead boy needs to be. No, I really But, uh. Combo, 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 heart break. Heart break. Combo, combo, heart break, heart break. These guys sure do like to spam their cards, don't they? Later on, I would I actually think about about dreams of existence. Have to do with them for some reason. For some reason. 
Oh yeah, I already told you. Here. It's for a trophy. A trophy. Yes! A trophy, which is... Which I'm actually treating it as a trophy in order to get the secret ending on beginner. Which I... I felt like I would... Uh, well, that's another video I wanted to try to do. Was to do a video on... On like getting those like first seven trophies uh, while still playing as Sora when you first enter Tremors Town. Town. Ah, and just like in chest, I'm doing that one thing where you switch out the king with the, the bishop king and the rook. I forgot what the play was called. King side rook. Yes. We're telling the king and the rook. Yeah, so it's a defensive move strategy that, for some reason, never works in my favor. Because it's a defensive move, it's a defensive strategy for a defensive play. I'm so offensive! <laughs> well, I'm, I, I play offensive whenever I play chess, so. In Why? I don't know! Because I can? Oh yeah, this is so worth 10 minutes to wait. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is technically our first time trying this. Trying this. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying deep dish pizza from Little Caesars. And it's still a little hot though. Yeah. Probably should let it cool down. We get back here and move our points. Ah, it's pure. That's cool. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Because, um, the cure Start are... slaves off with it. Yeah. Start slave with a cure. Oh, yeah, there's like a. There's like a strike rate version uh, with cure. Mm -hmm. Cure. Cure. Attacker, attack guard. Cure raid! Where you just steal the steal point. And then after. That would actually be pretty cool. Cure raid? Yes. Yeah, it's basically a steal. Yeah. Why is- why was that like a, 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 an introducing slave to introduce? That would've been so cool! Not all of them cool. I mean, the- the only- the only new slave where I'm like, this was pretty awesome to do was Holy. But it requires using- using a Mega Effort and a Mega Elixir. Elixir in order to pull it off. That and also another green card. Green card. Definitely one that- definitely like a potion. Good card. Yeah, all slaves are cards. Alright. Alright. I just realized that over at Anime Comedy, there was this one game. 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 It's it it it's it, it's a hentai game. But um game. Oh but my. Game, but the combat was like was basically car battles. Battles. Where it, it was basically uh, basically a cross between between Chain of Memories and Crisis Core. And it looks so awesome. It, it looks so awesome. But I didn't buy it. I'm sure it looks so awesome indeed. Yes, yes, yes. If I would have bought it, probably would have bought it mostly for the combat. Bad. Even though the story of... Are you sure you don't want any of that absolute territory? <laughs> well, basically, the, the, the game was called Boob Wars. Where, where it was basically, basically big breasts and uh, big breasts versus small breasts. One, two, three, four, I just have Boob Wars. Although, if you're going to make a boo war for the kids, it would just be basically a battle between idiots. Mm -hmm. 
Which, yep. Which, even to this day, I find it to be a weird insult to call someone who's an idiot a boob. I think, I think what's interesting is that, is that I think Cloud was like the only summon card that I actually liked using. Out of all the playthroughs, Cloud was always my, uh, Cloud was always my favorite as far as like summoning. Hot, hot, hot. Because that's good in my that's why I let him do Omni Slash, where he's flying in the air and slashing. But... Um... But it was really something I, I found to be pretty cool. I mean, the Tinker Bell one... Right, because in Tinker Bell Kingdom Hearts 1, basically... She's basically there for like the entire, basically for like yeah, the entire time you just have cloud summon. Well, no, I only have three cloud cards, and I still keep those three cloud cards until the final boss fight, like the final final boss fight. The reason why I, I have it that way is because because I use cloud as almost like a it was like a defensive slate almost, like during boss fights. Here, 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 they never run out. I mean, they do, but by the time they run out, you're already dead. Plus, they have those elixirs. But I think only when you're battling it's Axel, where they actually seem actually seem pretty cool. The fact that they actually are reloading the cards. Actually, that's the last boss fight where it seems like it's like, oh, they're actually reloading. Whereas with like like Marusa, he's like, so so he's like, you're not even going to. You, he's you're, like, I saw, I get more cards. And he uses all of the Mega Lectures. Yeah. I guess we're pointing That's out. That's not the police, son. That's Kool Aid. You lied to me. Dang it! The patches look. The powders look exactly the same. Damn you, Kool Aid! Oh, the reason why I can't move these is because they both have great flavor. And grape is my favorite flavor. Here. Oh god, now I'm thinking about doing commercials for like the pre Sun V V thinking. And there was this commercial where like where it was it was with the boy and he gets the V pouch and he has to go against an um Did you just kind of was just, like countered by a jerk. Um, <laughs> everybody knows these enemy cars don't have zeros. No. The highest you'll get is a nine. But they don't but that's not until like Castle Oblivion where where two enemies, they have knives in them, and they can use it at any time. So I guess Chain Memories is basically why you, why you use Auto Lock all the time to begin with the game. Instead of just locking on them directly? No, I mean not using Auto Lock instead of uh, manually locking on. Oh no, no. No. 
I think for free for the eight, I barely locked on unless it was like a specific enemy. I'm like, I'm not gonna leave you out of my sight. No, you auto locked everything. You ran an auto. You ran an auto lock. That's no, that, no. In Chain of Memories, you always lock on, no matter what. No, no. But but no. But, in three fifty eight, you ran auto lock on all the time. Oh yeah, I did. 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 I mean, the best time I found it useful was against that one boss fight in Twilight Town. Town. In Dustfire? Yes. Yes. Yes, even though I had. I mean, I was. Like, at first, I was like, oh, this is really useful. And I'm like, okay, this is actually hindering me. Me. So, I. So, so through that boss fight, I actually turned it off. And it turned out to be a lot better. What a, a bit time consuming. So, which, that's the best way to describe the final boss fight in this game. Time consuming. Although, if you. Although, when we get to that episode and you see a time stamp, you're like. Are you sure that was time consuming? Consuming? Yeah, I'm sure it was. Well, if you've beaten the boss fight multiple times, of course it's gonna seem fast to like to like the average person. Unless you purposely take your time. But why would you do that? To taunt? So we see Twilight Town like once out of the whole series. Oh, in this one section! Are you seen in the timeline? Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes. Basically what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Because Twilight Town isn't a sleeping world. It's awake. Fully awake. And always about, always seem like as if it's on a sunset. Ah, what a beautiful day in the sunset. The sun's not moving. Should we be concerned? So it's basically a dying world or something? <laughs> no, really. What is, what, is, what is the world of what is the Twilight Town considered? Is it a dying world or is it a wake world? The world in between worlds. Uh oh, Shower's Town. I consider that as like safe haven. Oh my god, jump the end. Yeah, basically. Um, I mean, it was weird. I was that that I had to, I had to explain to Casey why Trevor's Town was a sleeping world. It's basically due to the fact that there's a fourth and fifth district. Well, good. That's a sleep. My child is sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, uh, Travis Town is half asleep, but Twilight Town is half awake. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty good. Yes. Yes. Out of all the things you can quote in this video, you can quote that. Right here. And then, be, and then someone writes in the comments, they quote that down, they're like, true words have never been spoken. <laughs> good. And then someone asks, what was the best part of that video? They go to that timestamp. And they're like, just watch that. And that's it. <laughs> the rest of the video is not even worth your time. Time. I basically just said the best thing about this video. The, the rest of the video is going to be... I mean, half the time we're just blind. Like blah, 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 blah. And sweet, sweet the elder out, basically. <laughs> that's all we are. Yes. Yes, this may be post commentary, but it's blind post commentary. Not even blind post commentary. Post -commentary. I mean, it's, it's, it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Excuse me. Except for that difference. No, I brought another move uh, and uh, other commentary. Yeah, but they're like rare occasions. Yeah. They're oh. not as common. Oh really? I broke once. 
Now my fingers are really greasy. It's really good pizza, but my fingers are really super greasy, so I've got to walk off my hands. I'll go back to my DS. I'm going to reach the back of the screen, so I don't have a certified pro to control the camera. So I'll be right back. I'm too busy hogging my certified pro. <laughs> no. <laughs> Monsters vs. Aliens. Right. The show. Right. The show. <coughs> and Stephen Colbert is not playing the president. It's someone else. Oh well. Let me like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next episode. When that happens. Cross past the F button on the on the uh on the keypad to open that door. What he found? Well, basically he's in the alternate universe. Infinite possibilities. All leading to a single contact point. Which is not only the end, but also the beginning. Good pizza. 